Welcome everybody to Sagers. So today I'm just doing a little uh, routine maintenance on the boiler. I'm gonna be adding in this uh, half gallon of Protec 300. And uh, once I get this in there, I'm gonna take a quick peek in that uh, standpipe up there and see kind of where the water level's at. And uh, I'm gonna, then I'm gonna top it off and I'll show you guys how I do that from inside the house. All right, so the water is uh, just at the bottom of the standpipe, but I know it needs to be a little bit higher, so that's not too bad considering I haven't fi uh, filled it at all this season. And for those that are out there that uh, don't have a rain collar on your uh, boilers on the chimney, I would highly recommend checking and keeping a, a close eye on the sealant around the chimney to your ridge cap, all right? Because most uh, uh, manufacturers, they don't bother putting a rain collar on there. Your sealant will go bad and then the, the rainwater or snow or whatever will mix with the crease so it slipped past that sealant that is now cracked and rotted and it will rust the crap out of your uh, uh, water jacket. Uh, this, this boiler was just shot when I got it because of that exact thing. It took a lot of work to fix it. All right, so here we are in the basement in my utility room. I got my boiler lines, you know, coming in from underground outside through the, the cinder block wall. And uh, the way I fill up this boiler or top it off, I just keep a washer line connected directly to my potable water system to the return line of the boiler. Now I want to make absolutely certain that there's no way that the boiler water can be introduced into the potable water system. Now the potable water system is running, you know, 40 to 60 PSI. So there's really not much of a chance that can happen. Um, but I open and close the valves in a certain direction. That way that can't happen no matter what. All right, so I just flipped the breaker to shut off the circulator pumps. So now I know that there's no movement within those lines. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna crack open the valve from the potable water system. Okay, now I'm gonna open the boiler valve I have installed in, in line with my boiler return line, the wood boiler return line. It is cold water going through there, so I'm being gentle with it. All right, now we'll go up and look out the window and see when it's coming out the overflow pipe. Well, that was quick. So that happened a lot quicker than I uh, was expecting. I, th I thought at least, you know, four or five minutes, and I don't even think it took 60 seconds to top off the boiler um, or the water tank. It's, it's actually really important to keep it full because the inside of it, generally speaking, will only rust if there's air in there, you know, oxidation. So it's a good idea to keep that thing full. And something to remember is that when summertime hits and you shut the boiler down, that's when the water actually shrinks because it's not at 180 degrees anymore. Now it's at whatever ambient temperature is. So it's even more important in the summertime to make sure it's topped off. That way you don't get uh, rusting on the inside of your uh, uh, water jacket. So I took the camera upstairs and I put the big lens on so we could get a view of the boiler over overflowing. And by the time I got the big lens on there and hit the record button, it was already going. So I rushed downstairs right quick and I already turned it off, but I just reversed the, um, the order turn off the valve at the boiler return line and then I turn off the valve at the uh, potable water system that way again just making sure that absolutely that no water from the boiler line will ever make it to the potable water system but I just leave this washer hose hooked up year-round you know whenever I need to fill it or do maintenance anything like that it's it's already hooked up and ready to go now we'll go ahead and uh, kick that breaker back on for the circulator pumps I can hear it going through my lines and a way to check that, just crack a valve, start to close it. And you can hear it starting to restrict within the line. So I know my circulator pumps are running again. Take a few minutes obviously to get everything back and all the air bled out of its system, but it'll be just fine.
Well, that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you watching. Uh, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing, and we'll catch you on the next video.